What's going on everyone? So today I'm gonna try to be focusing up on top of this cabin up here. It is pretty naked right now. Um, so all I'm really gonna do is I wanna try to keep, I wanna put a piece of plywood down. I have some spares from a, uh, right outside there. So what the plan is, is to pretty much try to stick to two pieces of plywood. I might go three. But I'm going to put a piece from here to here, and then all the way across will be one piece, hopefully. But um, I'm just going to try to keep it into a certain amount of pieces. All of this is fiberglass, so I can't drill into any of it. Drilling into it is not an option. So, what we're going to have to do here is probably just wood glue, honestly. I'm going to clean all this bottom up. I'm going to get a, uh, the uh, boards of wood cut up, plywood cut up. And I'm just going to try to glue it down in here. It is going to be a little tricky because you have, it's pretty straight up in the front here. But on the back, it's all curved. And the plan is for these is that once again, kind of do the same idea as this. But the hinges will be up top here. So let's get started and see how it ends up. So I am back after a little bit of cutting and thinking. I went ahead and kind of did this. I couldn't fit it into two to three pieces like I wanted it to because everything's bent on the front. I curved. So um, here's what I got going on. All right, this piece number one. Piece number two, three, this is all four, and this is five, and then I wanted to make it kind of look nice, so I got six and seven back here. Um, what I'm just gonna do, since, I mean, they're all sturdy, like, you can, they're, they're not moving down. The only one I am worried about is this corner right here, and then this can go up like this. I'm planning to, wood glue them all down or do some type of adhesive on the bottom because I can't drill through it. So with that idea, um that that's honestly what I'm doing. I'm just gonna put a bunch of adhesive on it. I'm gonna throw a bunch of adhesive down and then I'm actually gonna use the wood filler that we used back here. It's a mess right now I know we're fixing that. Humidity heat didn't take any consideration though. So. Um, oh, I'm completely wrong. Okay. Um, this gap right here. I'm putting gap filler in there. I'm putting gap filler in there. That's exactly what I'm going to do. And um, yeah, going from there. I went ahead and put some gap filler in there just so it's uh, nice and raised. But I cut out this beast. That's going right there. And then I'm going to cut the holes out. Get the fill. I'm not mounting it today. Because we're planning to do this a uh, back piece right here. With something decorative. I'm not too sure yet. But yes. This is going there. I'm cutting out the holes in it. And then I'm just going to turn it something like this. So. We will see. Without you, I remember myself, my name, forgot about all you tried. What's going on everybody? Um, so like I did, I put this guy up. Fits pretty nice. As you can see up top here, it's a little, a, um, you know, it's not perfect. It's not perfect on this side. What I've done here is I just made holes so I can, you know, because what I'm slowly going to do is do squares until I hit the ridges because I really do not want to cut it too long. That's like the worst case scenario. So yeah, let's get cutting. Was the sound of your voice as I 
up on the sink as you can see here which you were very surprised by right i was coming back from vacation and all you liked i do it looks amazing i'm gonna be working on this we already got it mostly settled i'm just gonna put the plastic wood in between all these gaps just to make it an even plane and kind of sand it all down but for right here for these posts I'm gonna take this piece of wood right here. I have a bunch of it. I got it on sale at Home Depot and I'm just gonna basically frame the entire thing. Like right here. I'm gonna cut on these black lines and just basically just make a nice frame all around this entire thing. And then do the same thing over here. After I'm done with that, I'm gonna go ahead and put a wall up right here. Right here and then I'll pull a wall up right here. So it'll be broken up into three sections. It'll be one two and three so. so this is what the cabinets ended up looking like after we got the framing done as you can see we have the plywood behind everything but just some framing we did and then up here we have the wood filler which helped out a lot went ahead and cut this tricky piece out I'm gonna cut out the inside, similar to this, and then frame it diagonally down across it. <laughs> Gasco of the bus getting in the backyard and it getting stuck. We had to get like a mini excavator out here. Um, it's gone now. The bus is in this little side area. Doesn't give us a ton of room to work with, but it's better than that backyard. So, the plan for the day is to finish these guys up. Put some plastic wood here the last time you saw. Go ahead and sand this down, make it look somewhat pretty. Then I'm gonna build a wall right here that divides it. So basically it'll be this section as electrical stuff. So nothing gets mixed in with the fuse box over here. And then it'll be this whole section. So I'll build that wall right there. And then what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to take these and kind of like I'm make a barrier right here on the very bottom. I'm also going to do it on the side. So it covers up this ugly mess right here. And then these screws stick on the bottom, it covers it up as well. I'm not going to use any screws at all. I'm just literally going to use wood glue. And it, and honestly, I don't see a pro I don't see why it wouldn't hold. I'm not putting any pressure onto it. I'm not going to be drilling into it. It's just going to be more for a uh, visual looks but yeah then we'll get the uh, door going so I'll get back to you when I have these on all of these sides all the way around so here's the game plan I was gonna go ahead and put these guys as a border but what I decided to do is Angelina's mom and sister moved to Tennessee and this was her sister's old desk. So they didn't want it anymore, so I took it, I broke it apart. It's just a little cheap IKEA desk. Um but I'm actually gonna fit it to here. It's extra wood and it's kind of a nice finish. So I'm with these right here, I'm gonna cut notches so it slides all the way to this front point. Yes, the screws in the way a little bit. But I was just going to rise it over the screw. So it'll pretty much fit flush all the way around. And I'm just going to do piece by piece. So 
Here is a sneak peek of the idea I had in my head. So I put these, I cut them to fit these little notches on each end. That one's a little overcut, makes that one. But, yep, yeah. and I'll do it right on the round here, and then I'll have to put another piece here in the back, but that's what it'll look like. And yes, it's popping out a little bit, but then I got thinking, I'm like, okay, I could take these guys to right here, maybe like this or something, and drill them into, or dr uh, drill them into the side here. So it'll actually hold, but yeah. So this is what it ended up looking like. As you can see, it's not perfectly put in place because it's a little wonky. But I went ahead and threw some of this in there. Just to pretty much lock it in place. Then I'll go ahead and put wood filler in between the gaps here and make it all somewhat even, sand it down, and then I'm just gonna paint the whole thing black. Before I paint it though, I'm actually gonna use screws to screw some of these in because the glue is just not going to hold it down perfectly so I'm going to screw in just in case and yeah but I, I still might do it though I might, I might put these guys like this because now I have a foundation to drill into so yeah we'll see so um a little further now I put these guys up and I have everything pretty much leveled in I do have that piece of plywood underneath here so I just screwed it in some key points um, right here some of the loser boards I just kind of screwed in just to secure them more I'm mostly gonna put one in each main of the board um, and then I put some of this wood wood filler in so Wait for that to dry, sand it down, paint it all black. But I'm gonna go ahead and cut out the shape of these with the plywood. It's gonna be different. I'm gonna go this first. And we'll see how it looks. What I'll probably do is put it on top here. Put it all down, make like a latch on each one, and then cut on these beams. So it all folds up, but it all folds down as one. So we ran into an issue. This is what this looks like. Pretty good, solid. We can't put anything there because if you put wood there, then this doesn't open because this opens perfectly. Mm. Shut's good. But when you open it, the wood can't be there also, it gets blocked. So we're putting the cabinet from here on. Then I'll cut it right there and it'll all fold up. This, there will be a wall right here and a wall like there, like we were talking about. And this will be like, since I'm gonna be driving, this will be like my personal space. So. This will be wide open. We're gonna put wallpaper in the back. Wall, wall, door, door. It's gonna look groovy. Groovy. Look at that guy working hard out there. Look at him. What a guy. Measuring and cutting and stuff. <laughs> what a guy. Wow. She's so pretty. So what I ended up doing for the cabinet here is I just created a little box. That's all I really did. Put these around, got this glued in tight, and then add that wall up. And 
then this wall up. See how it looks a little bit nicer. I would get it I would get it going first but then go on to it. Oh, am I even getting it? You are. Probably. Yeah, you gotta go for it. <laughs> Jack, Jack, move back. Hold on, move back. A there you go. Is there? Almost. Yay! Don't touch your doctor, don't touch it. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Don't oh my burn god. a bubble on your finger. I'm getting speakers. <laughs> so Trevor and Jack are putting in the latches for the upper head cabinet so they don't go flying and smack Trevor in the head. My grandma found a lucky penny. We glued it right here. Heads up. We'll have it forever. Forever. Thank you, Mamu. I love it. What's going on, everybody? Future Trevor. And by future, I mean very future Trevor. Um, from when this video was previously recorded, as you can see. I do not have my long hair anymore, unfortunately. But um, I wanted to show you the final product. I don't have any videos or clips of us actually staining it and doing the final touches on it. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you what it's like now. As you can see, pretty much just, especially with up here, we didn't really record any of this. So we just kind of outlined the, we outlined the metal area and just covered it with the wood. It's pretty much it. And then in here, just upper head storage what it all looks like this is my little nook in here and then this is just pretty much electrical stuff right there that was originally in the bus and then just some knickknacks mostly bathroom stuff so yeah that is um pretty much it i'm really surprised how perfect this actually turned out from as you can see at the beginning of the video where i'm putting the entire piece of wood board on and cutting it out and then i was like you know what i'm gonna actually map it out instead so i am happy how long how a uh good this turned out and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the video peace